A handful of universities resumed in-person instruction on Monday after several weeks of conducting remote teaching only. All schools must comply with classroom capacity limits and other CECC reopening guidelines. One Taipei College is taking it slow, bringing back only half of its students for physical lessons each week. It's the first day back at Takming University of Science and Technology. To meet the CECC's 80-person capacity limit for indoor spaces, the school has reopened in a hybrid format with students alternating between physical and virtual classes on a weekly basis. Some of the more hands-on coursework still needs to be conducted in classrooms. That's the only way you can ask the teacher questions. Because teachers might not be able to, in a virtual class, they might not be able to look after so many students at one time. But physical and virtual classes each have their advantages. Let's say that. Every COVID precaution is in place. At the entrance of the building, students pass through a gate that disinfects them from head to toe. Inside this classroom, the students are seated apart. At the end of each lecture, the class president photographs the seating arrangement and sends it to the administrators for their records. Each desk is fitted with partitions for eating. Over at the dorms, all students must test negative for COVID before moving in. There are also regulations on physical education classes. If it is an outdoor lesson that requires no physical contact, then basically this lesson can go ahead but other lessons will need to be conducted remotely. At the moment, we're having students attend remote classes every other week, based on whether the roll number is odd or even. We will stay within the parameters of the CECC's regulations. In physical classes, it's easier to interact with the teacher. Students say they're eager to get back in the classroom. Across Taiwan, many campuses are starting to bring back physical lessons. On Monday, classes were held in person at Shixing University, Zhongzhen University, Chinese Culture University, and the Taipei City University of Science and Technology. Next Tuesday, physical classes are set to resume at National Taiwan University, National Taiwan Normal University, and National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. Staggered seating and capacity limits must be imposed inside classrooms. The CECC will adjust its rules on a rolling basis to ensure safety as education continues in a pandemic.